I'm Ola, and today we are going to play Make of a Restaurant game. In this video, I want to tell you how to collect multi-cup equipment in the game, so let's go! First of all, we need to go to our quests. There, you will need to search for different puzzle boxes and open them. There are two kinds of puzzle boxes, multicolored and smaller ones, the green ones. Multicolored boxes are bigger and give you from 2 to 7 puzzles, with which you can collect your stylish equipment. Smaller boxes are easier to find and they give you 1-2 puzzles. When you open a puzzle box, you start getting the puzzles, parts of different stylish equipment, available at your level. To collect the whole equipment, you will need to make up all parts of it. Besides from puzzles, you also get currency. Pink for the 2-cup equipment, blue for the 3-cup equipment and yellow for the 4-cup equipment. This currency allows you to take your equipment to the storage when you collect it. If you don't have enough currency, you won't be able to do it. Sometimes parts of the puzzle may repeat the parts that you already have. In this case, they burn and convert into currency. And this is how you collect currency faster. Now, when you collect all the puzzles of equipment, you have three ways. First, choose the style of the equipment and take it to your storage in case you have enough currency. Second, you can exchange the collected equipment for a new puzzle box with random puzzles for free. Let's say you already have a 2-cup tea machine and you want something else. Third, you can exchange your puzzle with equipment for another puzzle part of the same equipment that has more cups. For instance, I can exchange my 2-cup cappuccino for a part of 3-cup cappuccino. And it will always be a part that I don't have, so it won't be a repeated part. This can often be a great exchange. That's why you will also need currency for that. The same amount that you would have spent for taking the equipment to your storage. Everything depends on what you need for your own cafe and, and which parts you already have. You also have a menu of puzzle parts for your equipment. You can filter it by level or by the amount of puzzles that you have. Now, all of us have different resources for passing quests and puzzle collection also depends on luck, in a big extent. Sometimes you will be able to collect several pieces of equipment, sometimes you will lack currency, and sometimes you will just have a lot of pieces of different puzzles. But don't worry, the puzzle collections will stay available even after a quest ends. You will be able to perform any actions with your puzzles in between the quests, and you will be able to proceed with collecting new puzzle boxes when the new quest starts. All of the previous puzzles stay with you. So, in the end, you may have good chances to collect the equipment that you need. And this is it! I wish you good luck with the multi-cup equipment and see you next time! Bye-bye!